Alrighty, chat, thanks for sticking around. I have returned. Oh, I forgot to grab a beverage. I was going to grab a beverage out of the fridge. Oh, well, I have water. Thanks, Wolf6. Appreciate it. I'll have a lot of water. I might have to take a water break eventually, chat. We're fine for now. Anyway, I'm glad I hit the mute button on my microphone when I did. Some dude went down my street with like one of them little... Uh, probably like a clapped out Honda with like bad suspect or bad, uh, what's that stuff called? Exhaust. Oh, it was so loud. Like as soon as I hit mute, he like let it rip. Anyway, uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, let's get back to it. Came in Hello? the stream. Hello? 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 Oh, um, hi. And I don't know why, man, as soon as I sat down, I was like, this is majestic. Like I'm going the one way, you're going the other way. We both have tippers. Like... <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I will be jumping over there. I wanted a long pass. I didn't know how long I was going to be. Oh. oh, you're good. Um, you're not. It'll be if you jump over here at the end of your pass, I will. we'll just have one left. Uh, so CMB, definitely. Endros, headlands, whatever you want to call them. They are your friends. I know an auto driver. Of course, they're called headlands. Uh, you will miss a little bit in your corners. You can change your corners to sharp, and that will help. Uh, but just have little tiny skippers in your corners. But it's definitely worth it, for sure. Mr. Burt, how are you? Welcome in, sir. Enjoying some rain today, Burt? I know you've needed it. Everybody has out here in the Midwest. That's for sure. Welcome in. I think we're actually about to get it like a storm storm here in a little bit. My uh, my dad was asking about you the other day, Bert. So, you know. I think this next round that's coming here after a while. It, it'll be a while yet, but it's got some thunder in it, so. I should yeah, I need to go out, but it's been pouring out. <laughs> Doesn't look like it'll be anything too bad, so we'll be okay. As far as stream's concerned... But I hope things have been uh, been going smooth for you guys, Bert. They're better than they were, you know what I mean? I hope. I hope I hope for you, Bert. I ah, moved to Dirt Crew. All right. Well, you can get a couple days off now, huh? <laughs> oh, man. I'll work. Nope. Yeah, fair play, Bert. Fair play. It happens. All I know is after this rain, I got to clean up leaves now. Holy cow, there's leaves outside. My, uh, my first tree next to the driveway here, I didn't realize that it was, like, ready to shed. And, boy, with this rain today, holy cow. You can't see, like, the front yard for all the leaves. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so Dan, here's here's the strat, right? Okay. When you get down here, go over to that big chunk and uh, go down the seventh row. Okay. And then I'll finish this one and yeah, that'll be our first land then, first real land. Not this fake land that we started over here, but yeah, that'd be a good, pretty well. I mean, the bottom edge isn't quite squared off, but that'll be a good like rectangle uh, field for us to harvest. So we'll be good. Like we're making decent progress on this already, so. Yeah, four tippers. Or is it five? One, two, uh, uh, three, four. Four? Yeah, I think it's only four tippers we got, and they're doing pretty good. We'll know I once set... once we get over on the uh, bigger lands. We'll know. Yeah. So I set them all up to leave after hitting ninety five percent, so they're not leaving, you know, less than fully loaded. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I did notice though that. JCB is struggle busting over there, but he's fine now. Yeah. Get up that hill. But it's all good. That's why I gave him the, the smaller trailer. Uh, CMB, ideally, yes, we would pick up the straw. We make a lot of money on straw. What do we work with? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do we work with? Um... We make a lot of money on straw, and the straw market has actually recovered a little bit on this map. 
So we're up to, well, it's $106. But it says our highest last year was 96. So earlier I saw like 120 or something. So it's definitely recovered a little bit. So IRL, uh, this is my job. I am a full-time content creator IRL. Yeah, this is, this is my job. I stream and make some YouTube videos. Mostly stream, though. So, seven. So, on seven, go down. Do what, Dan? Sorry, I was reading Bert's comment. On seven, go down. On the seventh pass, go. Yeah. Okay. And you know why I've been doing seven? Because then it equals out to it finish does. off that last pass to but get that's, it. That's how many kids are in my family. Uh. <laughs> that was mom's <laughs> number for everything was seven. <laughs> Let's get this guy to follow me down the land. Literally everything mom ever did, she did in sevens. So, yeah, kind of funny. Plus, yeah, then it leaves you, you know, six over here, and then you take six over there. And it just it works out better, honestly. It's got to be a odd number, basically, to, to leave it just right. So. It's all good. Your mom's like that with the number seven, Mr. Eutychus, really? Is that how many kids are in your family? Like, even her email address that she had forever had something to do with the word seven. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it had to do with it, but something. Like, everything she ever did was all about it. So, yeah. Kind of a... Kind of a whole thing. It's on the 16th. Oh. One of I got you. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Yep. She was all about it. And then, like, my buddies that live next door, they were, like, eight and nine. Like, she would literally call them eight and nine. Uh, basically saying, like, she, you know, she kind of... It was, it was, she was like another mom to them, you know? And then, like, other people, like, later on, they were like, oh, you're number 10. You're number 11. They weren't actually her children, of course, but, you know. That's okay. It happens. But Bert, you might be done by November 1st. That's awesome. Well, I hope, uh, I hope you guys are able to pull that off and get done. Uh, guys around here are are getting there there's some second pass tillage that they would like to have happen which we'll see about after this rain here at the house we've only had a little over two tenths so like it's nothing here at the house so yeah the seagull what's going on it's been a minute how you been welcome in but like the guys that bought grandpa swarm they they got a vt this year and they claim it's a VT, but it's it looks just like a disc. Like it it looks like a disc, it works like a disc, it sings like a disc, it talks like a disc, it walks like a disc. In my opinion, it's a disc. Uh, but they've been going over like everything with that first, and then they want to come back with like a soil conditioner thing. Uh, but they just haven't done that yet. It's been too dry. So yeah, how's the rebuild going? Um, slow, Bert. Very slow. We finally got dad, dad and his mechanic guy at work. They messed with the oil pump for me finally. And I need them to put valves in the head. They're supposed to be doing that. For some reason, dad does absolutely not want us to do that at the farm. So he's going to have his mechanic buddy do it. And then I finally got new valves and, and that's all just kind of waiting on him, honestly, at this point. Uh, we are not playing on hard mode, no. We might switch it to hard mode eventually, but not right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gotcha, Bert. Yeah, no, only two tents here. So you've been busy hauling the seed corn. Nice. I didn't know you did that. That's awesome. Yeah, stay with this, right? And I think we probably won't be in the fields till Thursday. Yeah. Even though we're in corn. Have we done any videos of these tractors? There are a couple of videos on the main YouTube channel. Uh, one is uh, just kind of getting the tractor to the farm and 
working on it a little bit. And then the second one is taking like the engine off the tractor and stuff like that. And eventually there will be more. Uh, I also posted some pictures of the Alice Chalmer C with the Alice Chalmer number one plow the other day on Instagram. Uh, mostly it's just about the tractor, but. Travis found my family business. I got you. That's awesome, man. That is awesome, sweet. Well, that's cool. Um, there will be more videos to come, though, of, of my or tiny orange tractors. Don't worry. Like, somebody on Instagram was asking if we could have, like, a video of it plowing. Eventually, yes. But we haven't plowed yet, so, I mean... We tried to plow a little bit. It's not going to work with the C, so... We got to wait for the B to be uh, functional. And we're going to... see what you did there. The B to be... B to B, B, D, B, D, B, D, that's all, folks. What? Austin, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, we have to wait for it to be functional, and then whatever the break-in period is that the, they recommend for the pistons and stuff, we'll do that, and then I'm, I'm, I'm going plowing. I don't care if it's, like, December. I won't go plowing. <laughs> uh, day's been good, Austin. How's your day? Hey, he's been good so far. No complaints. Man. I hate going back to driving. Really, Bert? Wow. Love being in the tractor all day and night. I got you, Bert. Hey, I'm kind of enjoying the trucking over the, over the tractor cab. Really? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Bert, I don't know if you know, but Trent's uh. Trent's a big time operator now. Truck driver. I can't wait to be done with this guy that we're helping. Oh, really? He just farms. Well, he farms 2,500 acres compared to the 500 that we do. Oh, wow. They just, just never get it done, huh? Or something, right? I enjoy my free time. Gotcha. After 40 years in truck. I could see it, Bert. Yeah, that would make sense. 40 years of it, I'm sure you get tired of it eventually, right? That would definitely make sense. But yeah, it's uh, it's crazy how much farming's been done here. The, even the other day, the guys uh, that bought the farm, they have their own spreader truck now. So they were out there with their spreader truck just absolutely flying across the field. And... Uh, Putting down some potash. And boy, was the dust blowing right at us. It was so much fun. <laughs> so, yeah. It was it was a whole thing. For sure. It was so much fun. Or, not at all, actually. But, it's alright. It happens. Alright, John. Don't put your pipe in. Let's see if they can make it past I was gonna way. put my guy away before I got to you. Don't worry. No, I, I think I think they'll skate by. I, they should, yeah. Looking at where like your guy is on the straw and my guy is on the yep. straw. I think they'll be okay. But, you know, is this like the uh, conveyor on the trailer earlier? <laughs> oh, Bessie. I don't even care. Your guy is swerving. I think he's drunk. It's the minion weight. Hey, your guy's is swerving too. I can't see it. From where I'm at, I don't see it. Yeah, it's going straight as an arrow from this camera view. Oh, this camera view. It's like, bro, you're going to wear out the steering. He's got one of those ag leader clamp on GPS systems, and that wheel's oh, in there just going crazy, you know? That clamp on system. It I kind of don't like that. We were joking about having that on our uh, the Alice Shopper C, which there's a, a fair bit of slop in the steering. And we're just like, can you imagine that thing's just turning and turning and turning? I think it'd be awful. Well, my guy just got full in. And there's, Mine's almost, oh, Mine's there's almost full. two tractors waiting down there, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, once that JCB gets moving, you know, there's no stopping him. My guy did not get full. He stopped and backed up, and now he's back. Never mind. Uh, Hustle hard. 
Probably because of how I cut out into that pass there. So my a... guy would come unload me. Confused him a little, maybe. I could not make a, a pass without being unloaded. Oh, no. I uh, these, these long rounds, yeah. I could see it. All right. I think he's full now. I love how often auto drive turns off the engine on the tractor, personally. Mm -hmm. Like when you're waiting in line, it makes sense. It saves fuel. Yeah, that feature is nice. But... It's just like right here in the field. I don't know about that. That's all right. All right, go little buddy, go. Get out. Little engine. Get out my way. Big tractor, a little, a little guy. Just as soon as, holy cow, man. Why, I mean, you were eating through the Halo games, bro. That's insane, man. Absolutely insane. You and Vigorous both have been playing a lot of Halo lately. I think he's been playing a lot. All right, pipe out. Next tipper, please. <laughs> he should move in a minute down there, right? Good. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Like Dan's is full too, isn't it? Yep. There. Okay. On the move. Let's go. On the both be coming. Yeah. Let's go. Ain't yeah, ready. Looks like the JCB's heading your way. Okay. Holy go to you. Have a great night. I'm sorry. Uh, things aren't working, but hopefully. I don't know when I'm streaming again during the day, but hopefully that is Thursday. I hope to be working on lights. So we'll get you go to have a good night. Good night. Frost. Oh, gotcha, Bert. Holy cow, man. I didn't realize you guys were a three combine operation. Holy cow. That's uh, yeah, with that. that's, that's a bit. It is definitely a bit. We should probably switch the Magnum and the JCB tippers, right? Uh, how much does the? Let's see. Pretty okay. sure the one on the JCB holds. I think I could be full. It could be wrong, but physically, it's a way bigger trailer. The one on the JCB shows. 25.5 the one that's on the magnum holds 33.6 no shot really wow i would totally would have guessed like it was the other way around but okay. yeah because i put the extension on the one on the magnum oh so that maybe that's it i haven't paid attention. maximize i haven't paid attention to it that's probably why all right the chat How much on, we e were hauling. on eb headers this field would be perfect uh, it's maybe not right over there, but for the most part, it would work. I don't think we have enough ground of our own yet to justify. Like we need to, we need to invest in like you know a forty-six or a thirty or a forty or a thirty-six or you know a thirty-two or a thirty, something somewhere in there. One of the bigger thirty and thirty-one. One of the nice. bigger fields. You know, if we happen to have a casual four mil laying around, we can buy, you know, to, uh, field 30. I crumble. It's kind of too bad. There's a road north of 29 and the railroad south of 29. File that all together. All the way down to 32. Yeah. Let's never do that. At least you can do 31 and 32. Uh... Yeah, but you know, honestly, with the rows of trees that Stevie has in here, I'm going to leave them. Uh, Parallax oh, is there a row of trees in between there? Yeah, Parallax occlusion is a thing, you know? Are you still moving? Yeah, you uh, just lagged out. Uh, Parallax occlusion is a thing in this game, and I, I think I want to leave the trees to help as much as possible with the Parallax occlusion, you know? I've been re leaving them up around the buildings. Yeah. Now the more the more trees, it's actually better, as it has to load less. Long term. I've been doing what you do. Only cut down trees when it gets in the way of course play. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. 
That is all I've been doing lately. So it's it's been working. Like yeah, we could you know cut down trees uh, north up here and make a field going from 50 to 49 to 46. But there's good rows of trees there that are blocking all that, so we don't have to load it. I'm totally fine leaving the trees. And the fields are pretty big as there is, so. Yeah. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Am I the only one that holds my breath when the sink screen comes up? <laughs> I don't know why, Dan. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, wow. Two 790s and a 780. Holy cow, Bert. Wow. There is a guy here. Well, okay, a couple big things actually for this year. Well, kind of one for next year. Uh, the guys that bought the farm, they demoed a 12 row cornhead, which is not a thing around us, right? Eight row, eight row, eight row. So they demoed a 12. And the, their theory is a 12 row folding head. Their theory is the, the guy that does all the harvesting is one of the older guys who's a little bit older than my dad. And they want to get him to slow his ground speed down so he can stop if he's about to hit something, you know? And uh, so they're like, well, we'll get you a 12 row head, which will slow your ground speed down because we're not getting you a bigger combine. They're already running a 780. And uh, plus then they can't haul it away fast enough anyway, so they'll s slow down so they can run uh, continuous, but just slower speed, you know? So that's that's what they're hoping to get for next year. They, they apparently got a quote on a, a used one. They, they're not quite going for the new one, a little too rich for their, uh, for their blood. But uh, they'll go used and they'll get that. And then Zach's uh, dad's his one one's dad his dad's one cousin got a i don't know if he got a new 780 or if he got a 790 this year but he got a 40 foot draper head which is weird because everybody here runs 35s so the man i am doing uh i'm doing all right how are you welcome in and vigorous bull hello as well how are you welcome in guys all right my tipper's full and i don't have a tipper <laughs> and I can't see any of them. <laughs> if it gets to the point, oh yeah, you can't see them. You're right because they're all okay. Once I get to the end of my pass, I'll go and tap through, hop through them so I can see them. So he is uh, south of 24 right now. Just get off the highway. So we'll see how far I make it before. <laughs> I guess if it gets down to it, you can put your pipe away and send me your guy. But yeah, open and close. Yeah. <laughs> nice the man nice very awesome green stems oh really Bert oh wow I mean it makes sense right well that one just popped up before me I didn't even get into him oh nice But I believe that you couldn't find a Halo emote. Uh, yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We were talking about Halo with uh, Wyoming Cowboy. He's been playing a bunch too. Uh, very useful. Been playing a bunch. Talking about it earlier. I like. I miss playing those games, but at the same time, every time I do play Halo, I'm just like, why? Do, why am I doing this? I'm terrible at this game now. And then it just kind of makes me sad that, like, I'm not good at it anymore. You know? It just, it kind of makes me depressed in a way. Your uncle's farm's running for, holy cow, 8,000 acres. That's a lot. That's a lot of acres. All right, you can have your tipper back, although he is just about plum full. Tipper is just about to enter the field as well, so... We'll be okay. The other guy go. Oh, he's going around the field. Okay. One more, Dan, would probably 
make all the difference, you know? Yeah. But just wait till we get the honeybees. Huh? Need like 18 tippers for the same field. Because we'd get it done like so much faster. And just think if it was our own. Around there you have guys with close to 20. Holy cow, that's a lot of combines. So that Massey would probably be able to handle another uh, trailer like the uh, JCB. Has a little bit more power. Yeah, probably actually. If we, if you wanted a, a, another trailer. And, and these are perfect for, you know, when we have smaller fields for oh, yeah. something to do for people. Oh, yeah. November. Ah, oh, got you, right. biggest bull. Okay. And he's full. I got you. I'm glad I went and put him all to 95%. Uh, CMB definitely. 100%. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Now we we have a pretty good relationship. We butt heads uh we butt heads sometimes and it's mostly has to do with I didn't see a JCB there. Whoopsie, my bad. Uh mostly has to do with uh with my one brother. Uh cuz I don't want to be around my brother and if dad knows that that brother's going to be somewhere just all I, all I ask is just tell me that he's going to be there and I won't go. And it's my decision not to go and I have to deal with it, you know? So, like, this past Saturday when I went to the farm to help get ready for the pumpkin party, I didn't know until we were on our way that he was going to be there. And it's like, you can't trap me in the truck and then tell me, oh, yeah, by the way, he's going to be there. You know, it's kind of like, uh, kind of made me mad. Um... I just would have stayed home because honestly, anything that I did do uh, Saturday, either he would go and do it his way, like undo what I did and do it his way, or, you know, something as simple as we cleaned off tables and we were going to carry him to our shed to put him in the shed where they were going to be set up for the food for Sunday. Oh, we couldn't put him in the shed right away, even though dad said, hey, take the tables and put them in the shed. No, we couldn't do that. I mean, we had to do it his way. Leave him outside the shed. But they got dusty from uh, from the farmers because they had just cleaned them. Keep that in mind. They cleaned the tables, and the theory was to put them in the shed to keep them clean. And then he's like, no, you can't do that. we got to leave them outside. So they got dirty again. And then later, Dad goes, well, why aren't these in the shed? They were supposed to be in the shed. It's like, don't ask me, man. I, that's You know what I mean? It, it's every little thing. Uh, and then finally it just got to the point honestly and, and it, it sucks that it gets to this point but I just go in the shed, and shed go to the shed and just sit down grab something to drink and I watch football I watched uh, Ohio State absolutely uh, destroy Iowa I watched part of that game the other day because there's nothing else to do because uh, anything I do he has to throw his like two cents in there and it's like bro just chill you know like up until just a couple years ago he wasn't really involved with like setup and stuff for these parties so it's like i've literally been doing this like 25 years like chill you know like i know it needs to be done so that's where dad and i butt heads a lot is if dad doesn't tell me that that particular brother's gonna be there and if dad knows that really irks me just tell me he's gonna be there and i'll stay home I'll, i could have streamed saturday like all day you know, like, and, and I kind of told dad, and I'm, I have to think about this a little bit between now and then, but probably coming up, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, I'm probably going to choose the stream, to be honest, and just not attend family functions, you know? And that kind of sucks, but I just can't stand to be around him. So, can't stand people like that, feels like nothing gets done. Exactly the man. Exactly. It's like, why do the same job twice when we could just do it once and be done? You know? There's no picks in side by side. Whatever. There was. Did any orange tractor parts go missing? Not that I'm aware of, Sean. 
Do I ever see myself someday being around my brother again? Uh, honestly, no. I I. No. There goes your sword. Oh, Bert. I'm taking your sword away, Bert. I I just got what you meant. <laughs> Bert wants a picture of my brother and I in the side by side together. Yeah, absolutely not, Bert. I'm taking your sword. Hey, chat. Hey, yo, eBay. <laughs> For sale, one Twitch sword. <laughs> it's a joke, chat. <laughs> it's a joke, chat. But no, I don't know that anything can fix it. Honestly, I just... I, I don't know. Hammers. <laughs> uh, I don't be, don't be sorry about it, CMB. It is what it is, man. You know, I'm a happier person when I'm not around him. This community is a happier community without him. Cause for those of you that didn't know, we started Poom Plow together. If you go back and watch the old content on the channel, he's in it. And, uh, you know, it got very, got very ugly between us kind of like publicly too. And that's not a good look for anybody. Right. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? So yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I'll be civil with him to a point. Um, wildfire shadow. I'll be civil with him enough, but like, uh, when, when it comes to the point, um, yeah, thing, things are going to get said. So at, at some point, so yeah, just saying he did move my new radiator for my tractor the other day. And that kind of, you know, it wasn't in his way. And for some reason he moved it. It's like, bro, that's literally like like $400 in your hands. Like, don't, don't touch that. Just, just don't touch it. You know, no touchy touchy. Hey Dan, how did we get off of the thing here? Hey, I went in seven. Did you though? I did. Did you? Did, did. Somehow we got off though, didn't we? Was it when you lagged out maybe? No. Because when he was lagged out, he was still on the same one. I never passed you, yeah. Huh. I don't know what happened here. Then eight? I don't know how many. I don't know. It's all good. You know, with us running tippers like we are, it's not like we need to be running together. Yeah. You know, we're not running an auger wagon. So, and like a person. So it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. You know, with this, with this field, we could go harvest on other, like on opposite sides if we wanted to, you know? It just looks cooler. Oh, it looks way better together, for you. Yeah. And you have both tippers. Bert, I, yeah, I understand, Bert. Your DM. Yes, sir. Violet Sandman, what are the lines on the field? Is that a mod? That is called GPS. This is how we are able to keep perfectly straight lines up and down our field here. And uh, we're on the same line. So Squarely Dan and I are synced up together on the same north-south line. So technically, if we wanted to, we could just go harvest in different spots and we can meet in the field and we'll be perfectly on the same line uh, anywhere in the field, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's in the mod hub for PC. It's called Guidance Steering. We do own both these combines, yes. We don't have any leased equipment besides like that bucket. And that, that's it, I think, right now. Yeah. Egan, we'll catch you later. Have a good day. I think that's all we have leased, right? Is the bucket and the front loader arms for doing the sugar beets. Yeah. So, not a big deal. Which we'll get back to that. That's a good like end of stream thing to work on off stream, to be honest. Not gonna lie, chat. That's a good off stream uh, job. Pilot Sandman just subscribed. Pilot Sandman, thanks for uh, sub it up. Holy cow. Brand new subscription. Welcome to the Pilot Team. Tori Chat Badge and your emotes. Thank you so much for subbing up with your Prime. Thank you. 
Appreciate it. Is Sugar Beet Contraption working? Uh, not right now, no. We, uh, we took it down because we needed the tractors. Right? That was the reason. Tractors. Yeah, that and... We wanted we to run the path green. into the homestead. Yeah. We're, we're taking all this, uh... Barley into our homestead chat right now. We're, okay. Here comes our other tractor. He is <laughs> lagging behind. That's okay. We got, we got time. The nice this... thing that I like that Stevie did uh -huh. is he gave us a small remote, a uh, small remote high capacity storage silo that you can put down. Yeah. 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 We'll end up with him around the map at some point. All in due time. I'm really looking at maybe this north gravel lot as like a, a, a cow yard. Because they, I don't know if you've looked at it, but there's actually all up north of that right there. That's all perfectly flat too. Oh, nice. So you make that a cow yard. You have a big field over here for something. Big field over here. Big field here, you know. I'm thinking about it, Jack. But that's way down the line. That's after DLC. That's probably not till like Christmas, to be honest. If that even. We'll see. Because we got the DLC coming out. We're going to be playing that map until like get tired of logging. So maybe five minutes. Full joysticks? No. No, that's that's uh, Lawn Mowing Sim. That was another game that had an update today. Actually, I don't ever open up Steam. I, I use do. the desktop shortcuts. I my Steam's always open. I like to see everything. Plus, I keep waiting for Pharaoh to have a launch date, so I check my wish list like 18 times a day. So, Bert, I was supposed to bring home some lights uh, Saturday. Uh, you know, somebody stuck their nose in that plan, and, and plans changed. Um, I will be bringing lights home tomorrow is the current plan hopefully we don't get too much rain where i can't you know get a truck into my backyard uh should be able to uh bringing lights home tomorrow and starting to put them up on thursday so no thursday day stream chat supposed to be really nice weather and uh i'll have lights to put up assuming if nothing else i'll bring home like one bin of lights tomorrow just so i can start doing like my gutters windows and doors they're all in the same bin i believe so yeah if nothing else i'll bring home that if if i get to bring home like deer and all kinds of other stuff that's fine but i'd like to get the gutters windows doors tree trees i should say all five trees that i do uh the fence i'd like to get all that kind of stuff done Cause that's actually all of like my string lights. If I do all those stuff, all that stuff. So, but it's supposed to be a whopping 61 degrees with some clouds on Thursday. So like, I'm here for that light winds. That sounds like a great day to be putting up like, you know, uh, five or 10,000 lights. We'll see. Because a couple of the trees I do now, I put like several thousand lights in them. So, yeah, hopefully Thursday. Break. Basically, a long answer to a short question. Yeah. Back to the yes, I do need some decent weather for Christmas light stringing. I don't like being out there when it's like twelve degrees. Leaves should be the oh yeah, my bird, my front yard is like all leaves right now. It's it's terrible how many leaves are out there right now. <laughs> are the tractor drivers bots? They are on what's called auto drive. It is a mod that gives us very smart. Uh, we'll call them AI controlled uh, tractor drivers. They're pretty smart. They're not not a hundred percent, but they're they're pretty good. So yes, we have uh, four tractors with tippers running right now. The combines, uh, we're running the combines on GPS, our guidance steering. It's a mod for PC. And uh, yeah, that's how we're harvesting the field. So it's pretty cool. 
it allows us just to, you know, drive. Way better than the, yes, the, the built-in AI stuff is just kind of a joke. In my opinion, it doesn't really like to work. Um, I know they said they were going to continue to work on it and stuff. It was an ongoing thing, but I auto drives where it's at, you know, uh, we actually just started a couple weeks ago using auto drive and we have course play as well. Uh, so say we're going to do, uh, eventually when we get into these big fields, uh, for planting and, and, you know, cultivating and stuff like that, we'll use uh course play. Uh, been using course play a fair bit on contracts, but yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yes, it does. And it's really cool. And the, and the, the cool thing is the flexibility. If we don't have, if I don't have a bunch of help on the server right now, I've got one, uh, squirrely Dan's on here with me. He's in the other combine, but if we have a bunch of help, cool, we don't have to run the AI stuff, but if I don't have any help, but I still want to get something done, I can run AI. You know, you might have to try the auto drive because you're riding the struggle bus with AI. Yes. Super nose. Definitely. How much does our forge wagon hold? Our forge wagons hold 50,000. They're stock in game. Boston strong. Hello from Amsterdam. How are you? Welcome in. Yes, uh, course play, auto drive, and GPS. Those three mods, uh, they are only only available on PC. That is for sure. Found one that holds 200K. Uh, do the exclamation point uh, smurf in the chat. Exclamation point smurf in the chat. There's probably one on Papa Smurf's website that holds like a lot more, but I could and be it, wrong. And it might have wings. And it might have wings, yeah. If you want a really big loading wagon. Yeah. One. The auto drive mod Three. is from the GitHub. Is where the auto drive's from. Uh, and then there's actually a guy on YouTube called the auto drive guy. And he basically takes a map with auto drive and sets up all the courses for you. Sets up at the whole road network, right? Every cell point, every tip point, every production point, every, every, everything that's on a map. He sets it all count up. It, count it, John. Oh, I've already passed it. Just go. Go on. You're fine. We come out wrong. We come out wrong. I don't really care. I just want to harvest. Right now you're on five, John. Is this six? You should be on six. Well, I drove forward uh, one more. Not now you're on six. But it should come out right, right? No. Maybe not. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, where stream is, you're on six. <laughs> Roger. Two hundred. Uh, there's probably one. Well, I don't. I don't know which one plugger uh, put up on the Papa's Papa Spark website, but I have a loading wagon that holds five million. So. A little cheaty, yeah. But you know what? It's not cheaty. Because if somebody wants to use a 5 million liter loading wagon, more power to them. There's so many different ways to play this game that it may not be for me. Brad5478 just resubscribed for 11 months. Uh, Brad, welcome back. How's it going? No. Biggest bull take it back. Brad, I appreciate the 11 month resub. Welcome back. How are you? Biggest bull take it back right now. No. I don't like that. I, I want to play Pharaoh. Although really, I'd be okay if it's 2023 because I'm I'm busy. Like if you think about it with, with Christmas lights and DLCs and we want to play Rust sometime this winter. Uh, and possibility of Minecraft coming back here when I get done to Christmas lights as well. Like, I'm just, I'm just kind of busy for that. Like, so let's, let's, I'm okay with it. As long as it's like early ish 23, like February. Cause then I'll have the lights put away. I usually get them down in like early to mid January. So I, I'm all right with it actually.
How about that? You know, I'm actually really shocked, Dan. Like, you've only filled up one time on this harvest, right? You mean, like, had to stop? So, yeah, I've, like, had to actually wait for a tipper. Uh, twice. Okay. That's not bad, though. That is not bad at all. Used to do the old shake and bake here. Because <laughs> you're not going to make the pass, and he's not going to drive up next to you, right? Uh, if I stop, well, yeah. he will. Yeah. So throw your put your put your auger away. We're gonna do the shake and bake. Let me. Oh wait, never mind. That was a that was a mistake. <laughs> Just stand by. No, no, no. Hold on. Just yeah. Hold where you're at. You're fine. Okay. And then I'll drive past. And then oh, actually, yeah. I'm gonna jump into your lane probably. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna turn my chopper so that I'm not making a mess with straw. We shaking and baking. Here's something. I don't mind this awkward thing of straw out here in the middle of the field check, okay? Then I hit that button and hit that button and we're good to go. You didn't didn't see anything, chat. And now Dan can empty. Because he wasn't gonna make the end of the pass anyway. Mummy. Mummy. Wow, you'll bury just wow. Just wow. Put your pipe back out so your guy comes back instead of driving to the other end of the field. Uh, he might be full. Oh, was he? I think he might have been pretty full, yeah. Mm hmm. It was uh, supposed to come. We got one on the way, or two on the way back. Just wow. One's uh, making the turn up towards 24 right now. This way. Copperman, hello. Yulberry, you're here all week. That makes me happy, Yulberry. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Your your sarcastic like sense of humor is like spot on. And, and I look forward to you being in chat. I'm not going to lie. And I don't mean that in any kind of weird way. I, I'm just serious. You, your comments uh, make me laugh most of the time. So, like, I'm here for it, you know? Just saying. All right, hopefully this works out. Buddy gets back there and figures out his life before other Buddy comes and wrecking balls him. Yeah. That's probably going to happen. But that's all right. Hopefully they'll detect each other. The Copperman, welcome in. Hope you're uh, having a good day. Just saying. All is decent. We're finally getting some rain, government. So, like, I'm happy. We have needed rain for a while here in, uh, well, all across Missouri and Illinois, Iowa, and you name it. We, we needed rain out here in the Midwest. Pretty brutal. So, I'm happy to have it. It settles the dust. Uh, hopefully our rye will come up here in the next couple of days. Uh, the rye that we planted at the farm, it should be coming up here soon. And it knocked a whole bunch of leaves down, so I will have leaves to clean up. That's fine. Before I put up any of the yard, like Christmas stuff, I do need to cut my grass one more time. Cut it real good and trim it up nice and make it look real fancy like, you know. Fancy like. All right, they have figured out their lives down there, it looks like, so. Happy about that. No collisions. That's what I'm here for. And hopefully we get a... Oh, I stole your tipper, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and see, that's the cool part about it, too. If, I, if I'm if i getting full, you can just put your pipe away and let me have the guy, and then vice versa. Yeah, he doesn't have much room, but... Hey, any little bit's better than... Both the 10, one 1050 is heading out to us, and then the other one's about to show up. Yeah. But that's the cool part about this. Okay, that guy's full now, so that 1050 is going to come to you, probably. And then, you know, we can always just swap it. And it's, Take all your pipe. I don't even think I have to. I didn't have to. He was, he was attached to me. 
Well, figure. usually they, they sit there and take forever to figure their lives out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Arrow did have a Gamescom demo. Did it really? Yep. See, he's on his way already. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, no big deal. That's interesting. Uh, interesting. They're very small. Um, you know, I'm really nervous about it because, like, if it was has been delayed this long, it was supposed to come out back in October of 2019, allegedly. Um, it's probably going to have some issues, right? I, I just can't play the old Pharaoh because it, like, messes with all my icons and resizes my desktop and it, like, does all kinds of weird stuff to my computer. So I just don't, I don't like it. But. Oh, good. Well, I see that picture that you posted there, yeah. And that looks good, though. All, like, nice and white screen and stuff. Mirror for it. I don't know how much of that game I would stream. Uh, to be honest, chat, I don't know if I would stream Pharaoh much. But I am definitely down to play it. Definitely, definitely down to play it, so. All right, Dan, um, 93, 94. Uh, I'm going to slow down. This first one is yours. Yeah, slow down a little bit, though. I'm going to keep moving. I'm just going to slow down. 96. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> hey, hey, sir, I'm over here. Sir, sir. Sir. 98. Zero mile per hour on the cruise control. <laughs> Sir. Oh, he knows where he's going. Yeah, there he goes. He just. Oh, I'm full. Darn it. All right. I need to stop him because he's going to T-bone the other guy real fast. All right, that was close. There again, if we, I think, if Dan, if we had one more temper, we would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So if we had one more temper, we'd be fine, right, chat? One more temper, we would be fine, right, chat? Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna. Mm -hmm. might be a tipper at the shop <laughs> this well, might this, be this magnum's being they're, they're both on their way out this magnum was having a hard time figuring his life out oh, at the yeah, uh, start so. point yeah bad Get weather settings. closest point apply uh we have had some rain I wouldn't necessarily say bad weather, no. So, uh, no. Nope, we finally got some rain. I'm very happy to uh, to have gotten it. Just saying. Very, very happy. We needed it. The worst way. But I wouldn't say it was bad or anything. Very nice to have, to be honest. Very, very nice to have some rain, chat. I'll tell you what, I was sitting out here last night. Uh, Bear, hello. First off, how you doing? Welcome in. I didn't Welcome. break it today. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so I was I was sitting out here last night, Chad. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I I wrapped up the sugar beet hauling, which, you know, that was for nothing. And just sitting here listening to the rain out here in the garage. Man, it was peaceful. I could have like I could have slept out here just like with the rain, you know. Like anyway, I haven't heard rain in like months. Okay, chat, leave me alone. It was like dripping in the gutters, just right, you know. It was like the rain on the tin roof kind of thing, you know. Anyway, hi bear, how's it going? Good. <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> I'm still not over the fact that uh, the beats. <sighs> it's very sad. But they're gone. Yeah. yeah. Well, the money's gone. We still have a lot of the beats. But we we had the leftover beats, yeah. So, so 
We filled. I filled the BGA contract last night. Only wasted like half a trailer. I wasn't paying attention. To be honest. All of a sudden, it popped up, and I was like, "Oh!" And then the same thing with the other contract. We wasted like what a trailer loan, not even. Yeah. But and we then did, we made we made money off of it. At yeah. Least, so. Opperman definitely. Yeah. No, we definitely made money. I mean, I wouldn't say waste. I guess that's the wrong choice of word, but. And then we have the extra still. Now, we've decided we're going to cut them. Because it's a one-to-one. -one. We might as well, right? Just saying. And we figured out the best way to do it. I don't know about the best way, but we figured out a way. It's a, it's a good way without plugger mods. Yeah, without having to intervene too often. I still think a uh, mother bin would be the strat. It, yeah. But then it still it requires a you know more more things that like to move more and things, farm stuff. yeah to put in the homestead and yeah. clog it all up especially if we're trying to do other things but I was like what said, I was being an off stream what I was originally uh, thinking about doing was taking a mother bin over to the sugar mill and, and cutting it directly there cutting it right into the sugar mill and then hauling uh, stuff over there either with our auger wagon or the conveyor wagons to fill the, the mother but that also would take forever considering we have you know uh 1.3 million sugar beet and we can just cut it right back into storage and then just take it from storage over there with uh with uh, auto drive but anyway so we're just a harvest and a long bear having a good harvest out here we didn't do too bad with the 318 that we got so far that didn't take very long while we were setting up the rest of the what's that for the cut yeah yeah for cutting i didn't realize we made that money holy hell wow awesome but you are doing did you get that last tipper dan or no did i buy another tipper no, no i did it's at the shop oh no i didn't i can uh take care of that though okay i'm just gonna hire this guy out. i got the john deere too forgot about the john deere actually we got two john deers one. Yeah, but I think the Massey's faster. I say the one, especially the two tracks, kind of slow. He does great on auto drive, though, but he's slow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize you had bought another tipper. I hired, a, I hired the other guy out and slowed him down. Okay. Uh, Waster Christmas lights are on. Is it like a national store or like a chain, like a local thing? If it's local, don't say it. But if it's something big time, let me know, man. I'm, I'm going to go buy some lights. <laughs> uh, Raggy Squints uh, 15. Uh, this map is a semi-private uh, server. Uh, it is possible to join. Uh, the biggest thing, uh, the biggest way or the way to join is uh, to come in our team speak when we're not streaming and just kind of get to know the crew. And if I hear good things about you, then we'll get you on the server. That's That's basically how it goes. Oh, it's a Canada thing. Oh, dude, I need some Canadian Christmas lights. That's what I need in my life. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're all made the same place, but you know, that'd be cool. Thank you guys for uh, helping out with the links. So I'm in our team so we can get to know us off stream. That is the best way to join. Uh, this is kind of a trusted person server. I'm not sure why I'm in it, but... I definitely don't know why I'm still here. <laughs> After last night, especially, Dan. Uh, Dan broke our server last night, chat, so. Gotta give him some grief for that. Only caused the stream to, like, just stop for 15 minutes, you know? No big deal. <laughs> but hey, at least, you know, he didn't uh, break the sugar beet contracts. I think that was mostly my fault for taking on too many and trying to like it took days to harvest that many and just never again one one field's enough if we do it again so yeah probably won't do it we'll just do our own field because we have a harvester just saying wouldn't mind a second one though honestly like field 10 i did field 10 that time uh sugar beets it wasn't bad and they weren't well they weren't fertilized but wouldn't be a big deal just saying Oh, yeah. All right. Fifth wagon is on its way. Dan is a trusted person. It's his computer and internet that are in question. 
<laughs> I'd say mostly internet. I have gig internet too. Yeah, okay. The the, the provider may not be the best. <laughs> yeah. How many kings do you join? Oh, I got you, man. It's unfortunate, but like I said, that is the best way to join our servers. If you want to play Rust or Minecraft when it comes back, if it comes back, or Farm Sim, or yeah, anything I do. You want to join the games I do? You want to be, you know, on stream even, like in the team speaking stuff? That one, I really got to get to know you and trust you. Know that you're not going to, like, you know, it costs too much on stream anyway, you know. We've had a rash of that lately, so. Yeah, Cody. <laughs> he still doesn't know what he said, by the way. <laughs> I need to talk to him sometime off stream. Maybe I'll just well, snap him. So I heard the correct word when uh -huh. he said it. But I also, it also made me snap too very quickly and went, what did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> what, what did, did you say? Because <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I didn't hear it. I, I heard the inappropriate thing. Right. Well, you know, John, a mind, mind in the gutter is a life down the drain. Yeah. Yeah, I got... Uh-huh, that's, that's where I live. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, so since the game kind of jobbed us a little bit on uh, on those contracts... Yeah. Uh, when composter? <laughs> well, if you notice what we, we're doing right now... Yeah. <laughs> we got some comeuppance. And all of our fields are planted in soybeans, you see, for more straw. So yeah, composter chat. We're gonna we're gonna learn about composting, mostly because uh, this is totally the reason why. Chat. Uh, I want to grow pumpkins, and we need compost and manure. So we got to get some animals too. But I want we need to we need to grow. Uh, manure. Uh, I was gonna say manure. Uh, we need to grow pumpkins. That's totally the reason um, that we're going to get into composting, okay? Yeah. Huh? John, John is it, why, why, why do you keep moving your eyelid so much? Are you, do you have dirt in it? You keep, you have, you have some dust in your eyes. Is that, that why you keep probably blinking? <laughs> only with over one eye? When, yeah, only with one eye. <laughs> it happens. Hey, it's been really dusty at the farm lately, so, like, you know. I well, probably especially do. when some people drive 50 miles an hour up the lane. <laughs> and the dust blows right at the buildings. <laughs> hey, don't mind it. It's just everybody's got potluck out on the, on the picnic tables. Don't mind it. <laughs> Where are the greenhouses? Because I see there are... They are in that little plot of land east of 28. Oh, uh, Okay. In the conglomeration of little waypoints right there. Okay, I see him now. Yeah. Uh, the composter that we have is actually the one that came with the map. Uh, it is from Mr. Stevie, and I believe it's under... What's it under, Bear? Is it... Production. Factory? Is it a factory? Yep. Uh, this one, by the way, this is... I, I don't know if this is on the map already, but it's like the Tater Steamer Washer. I'm here for that. Just, just throwing that out there. Here we go. So they're only 80 grand and, uh, well, Bear did some science and, uh, we'll just say they're, they're going to be lovely. <laughs> well, that's what they say about me. I am a man of science. <laughs> he got his white coat out and everything. That's the one with those like weird arm things, right? They're like, right. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. That's the white coat I have. The okay. one that holds my arms behind my back. Yeah. 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 You know. Okay, it happens. All right, I need some a tipper. Hello? Some say I'm crazy. Some say I think outside the box. Right. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Uh, no, Bear did that on his own map, Sean. Not, not on here. But what we're thinking is we will have... Because... If we have a bunch of them, which we're probably going to end up with a fair bit, it'll, it'll look like Matt's map over here at the BGA. 
But what I'm thinking is we have one silo down here that auto drive can interact with. And then we manually fill and empty the things because whatever. Otherwise, some science might have to be done as far as like, can we make auto drive work with 10 different silos or 10 different, uh, you know, composters, whatever you want to call them. I don't, I don't know if that'll work or not. So we'll have to figure it out. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? All right. So if, if we can make auto drive work with all that, I'm down to do it. I'm, I'm a hundred percent here for it, but if we can't, then we can't, it's not a huge deal. Well, my assumption, and we all know what happens when we assume, <laughs> but my assumption is, is that that composter holds 20 million or something ridiculous because it's a Stevie thing, right? Oh, you don't actually know how much it holds? No, I, oh, no. Okay. I thought we'd, okay. Yeah. So we don't have to take up all that space. So we may not. Yeah, we may only need a couple of them. Yeah, or even, I mean, start out with one somewhere. One. And then that way it's only one point to pick up and deliver. And we can auto drive that pretty easy. Okay. Yeah. I got you. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Various bull, don't crash your game now. Just, you know, Carson's probably joking. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. Hi, Mrs. Professor. Welcome in. Glad you've had us on while you're lurking and working. Hey, Dan, we're still off by one pass, by the way. I counted seven from from where the first pass would to... be. I counted in seven and went down seven. You know, the other day, I know what it was. You had three harvesters? No, I was starting, and then, like, the other combine would join me at the other end. Uh, and then it would work. The, the, the seven thing would work. So we need to just go. On, you need to go six. Need, or eight. Or four. <laughs> an, an even number, yeah. It doesn't matter, but an even number, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it was, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was doing sevens the other day, but, like, the combine, I don't know. It's fine. And really with this chunk that we have left, probably just go yeah. around and around the out, outside, right? Well, I'm going to come back down this last pass. Yeah, I know. I'm saying for, I don't know if, I don't think I'll cut another land. Because then that okay. causes issues emptying, you know? And we're losing that Magnum, by the way. He is not full, but he's going to repair or oh, fuel or something. Um, yeah, because you closed your pipe. And... I know. <laughs> As soon as you did that, he dinged. So you'll probably get offload and then close your pipe so I can have him, okay? Yep. Got to share a tractor. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's that new one, too. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Well, welcome on in. Oh, goodness. Just waiting for him to figure his life out. So chat. Our life's in shambles now. But we have three going to empty, two of which are about to be in the homestead, so. No, so the Magnum, the, the guys are set to, like, auto repair and auto fuel. And so when he didn't have a job, he's like, oh, I need to fuel or repair. I don't remember which one it's done. Uh, first, it was the JCB, which was already on its way back. Yeah. And then it was the Magnum. So that's kind of our problem right now is two of our tractors are tied up. Fixing and repairing, so or fixing. But and... I, I think the JCB was full at least. Yeah. Uh, Newfie, what's going on? Welcome in. I am doing great. Thanks for asking. I had tested last time. I am in a class cub mine right now. Yeah. Let's do it. Last time. Blouse time. It's like Wayne's World, but like, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's all yours. Oh, no. JCB went home in. Or, yeah. Tragic. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bear, yeah. Yeah, I'll stop. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> um, 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 uh. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Do, 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 do. Banana. 
Do, 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 do. Well, guess what, little buddy? You're going to be full and you're going to have to go unload. Here in a second, that is, obviously. Uh, Max, they are all uh, created by the auto drive guy. They're all set up uh, for us. Uh, so, yes, you do have to set them up. So, basically, uh, if you see all the little white, like, marker things, those are places the auto drive guy has set up on this map. So, if you really look at the map, it's everywhere. It's every field, every cell point, every tip point, every production, every open gravel lot has a spot where we can, you know, we'll add on to it eventually when we need, like, set something up there. Uh, the homestead's insane. The biogas plant is crazy. Uh, homestead's homestead's crazy. Uh, but the homestead has a fuel tank and it has a repair point in it. So if you see them say, hey, that I'm going to repair, or I'm going to refuel, uh, that is where they're going. They're going to the homestead to, uh, to fix and or repair is what they're doing. So it's pretty cool, actually, not going to lie. Badge. You were here when we first started. Well, welcome back. How's it going? Welcome, uh, welcome back. So the problem right now is two of our tippers didn't come back. Well, one was at the field and decided to go repair our fuel, and the other one was down that way and he's repairing and fueling. So right now we're gonna be uh, tipperless uh, for a minute here. But they're coming around the corner now, so we're we'll be okay here in a minute. You know, we've got four in route, so uh, probably Dan. I don't know about you; you're not that full, but I'm gonna have to. I'll try to make the end of the field. How about that? Okay, I'll try. No, no guarantees. No guarantees. Chilling at work. Awesome. 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 Those are the best days when people get to chill at work, right? Just saying. Now I can make the end of the past. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'll go. 94, 95. Not going to happen. You can do it. No, I, I'm going to have you can gab, do it on Carico. gab barley. Nope. Nope, you cannot do it. No, I'm not. Nope, I'm full. I'm scoot your header off to the side. Although technically there's totally room in there in my grain tank, so... Yeah, just slam it, slam on the brakes. <laughs> Pretty much. Great room. Do, 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 do. Massey finally figured his life out so he can leave the field. Yeah. Fast track's down there, though. Yeah, hopefully be in route here momentarily. We'll go for a pipe cycle. Just. Oh, I don't even close it all the way. Yeah, well, you know, I don't want to, like wear out the flux capacitor, okay? Because <laughs> my combine oh has boy, a flux capacitor. I hope capacitor. I make the end of the pass. <laughs> hey, you're getting full too. <laughs> well, that's what happens when two of our tractors have to go repair, I guess, huh? Uh, Why am I who, seeing who that? Who turned that setting on? <laughs> Run them into the ground. <laughs> I mean, I would be fine with running them in the ground, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to make it. What am I seeing over there, chat? 95. Aha. So the other day, chat, I, uh, I updated like everything, like windows and video drivers and everything on both PCs. Everything's just off by like four pixels, you know, like all my windows are just moved and I don't like it. I don't like it, chat. The saying. Good boys, you good? Getting along? Okay, we're good. Never mind. Right. Yeah, I'm on. Um, Ten fifties back now, so that's good. Yep. I think that JCB is going for you though, not me. Yep, because you hopped out of your tractor. Yep. Oh no. Nope. Okay. What'd you do? 
<laughs> you know, just faking him out a little bit. <laughs> I say he just told me he's not. Now he's coming for me, isn't he? Nope, maybe not. <laughs> There's a 1050 that just 1050's came out. 1050's in route, too. hot. He's running code. Be do, be do. Yeah, I think JCB's coming for me now. <laughs> so now we'll be fine, chat, with this. We've got our new tipper in the in the mix here, and as long as we're able to. <laughs> everything's repaired for max hauling horsepower. <laughs> yes. Everything's repaired. Should be hopefully we're decent on fuel. Track. I, I know just, I'm almost out of fuel. I just need a truck. You don't understand. Oh, I just saw one on the surface. Oh. Sand camp, this is not a sugar beet harvest. No. I'm not a sugar beet farmer. That would be a weird way to play a map. All you do is sugar beet harvest and sell sugar and sugar related items. <laughs> sugar accoutrements. Joe, what's going on? How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. All right, we got ourselves a tipper chat. Look at us. And two in reserve. Yeah. Right at the end of the harvest. <laughs> hey, now you should be able to move. We still got we still got a way to go over here, Dan. Don't worry. <laughs> we got ways to go. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Sure, five feet. No, I'll be okay. I, I don't care if he empties me right now. I'm just gonna drive over there and start harvesting, so I don't need to be empty. Well, sometimes I'll do be like that where pipe goes over them and then they yeah. freak out right the one camp. thing i wish they were like the sugar beet harvesters where once you start moving they follow you oh yeah here they like to back up now well, that's different go between horse play and auto drive though ah uh, joe joe that doesn't sound good sorry oh so on okay my normal schedule is tuesday thursdays i stream from like noon to uh six o'clock so you know a little six hour stream uh this will be my last day stream for a while though because i'm starting my christmas lights um which i know sounds crazy it's not halloween yet i understand i put up twenty thousand lights last year and i'm planning on doing pretty much the same thing this year maybe a few more maybe a few less uh, we'll see how it all turns out but it's one of those things, if I don't start early, I'm not going to get done. Plus, with the DLC coming out for Farm Sim, I'm going to take almost a week off of working on Christmas lights to, to, to stream the DLC every day. So my normal schedule when I'm not working on Christmas lights is Monday nights at 6 p.m. till at least 10. Tuesday, Thursdays from noon to 6. Friday nights, again, 6 to around 10 or so. Usually I go later than 10. It's at least 10.30, sometimes 11, sometimes midnight. Who knows? Whatever. And then Saturdays I've been streaming uh, noon to 10. So a 10-hour stream every single Saturday. Um, I will be streaming on... Uh, and that's the normal schedule, right? But my schedule with doing Christmas lights, basically from here on, if it's a nice day outside, it's, if it's not like rainy or thunderstorming or too cold, I'll be out working on lights. So I plan on being here Monday night and uh, probably Tuesday nights and hopefully Thursday nights and Friday nights and Saturday nights. I, I hope to be out here and be able to, able to stream at least those nights or at least, you know, Monday, Friday, Saturday, and then throw in some other ones in there uh, when I can. Uh, my schedule is going to be kind of weird until about Thanksgiving. But once Thanksgiving happens, my lights will be done, hopefully. And I can get back in my normal good schedule that I have uh, for streaming, you know. So it's kind of unfortunate that, like, the lights do take away so much time from streaming. Because I absolutely love what I do with the streaming. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? And there's another one as well. Thanks for the follows, guys. We do have a good setup going, Doofy. Yeah, we're using auto drive for our tippers. Uh, but the Christmas lights, it's a huge passion of mine. And, like, my town looks forward to it. And, like, I've had people that, you know, grew up coming to look at my lights or, like, late in their later teen years. And now, like, they have kids and they bring them out and stuff. And, like, 
it's a big deal. My family and I have been doing it for a while, and I kind of really made it go crazy. Like, we always did lights, but, like, when I took it over, we really started going crazy. No, Joe, I can't. I can't do that. I won't do that. I wouldn't get anything done. Yeah, no fee. It is pretty cool. It is. It's actually really cool. Can't keep lights from burning out. Uh, I pretty much all, pretty much all LED in the display these days. Uh, I have a couple like figures that aren't LED. Um, and then Rudolph's nose. Rudolph's nose is a C9. It's the only C9 in the whole display, and it's the it's the only like big incandescent light bulb in the whole display. Everything else is LED. Um. I only run about 13 amps for the whole show, all 20,000 roughly lights, uh, with a bunch of inflatables as well. I have a 20 foot tall Santa for this year. I've got uh, Santa in a canoe with some reindeer. That's a fun one. I have a ladder that looks like Santa's climbing up on the roof. That's an inflatable. Um, I don't even know. I've got some other ones too. I've got several. So you guys will see uh, pictures and stuff of the lights eventually. Um, possibly, possibility of a video this year. I don't know. I did a video a couple years ago, and it's pretty much the same display. So. This is what I do for work, yes. Yeah, Trent, we can't figure that out. It, I don't think that works anymore. We tried doing that last night, too. All right, Bear, we'll catch you later, bro. Um, this oh, is my no. full-time job though. Content creation. Yes. Yes, this is. And that's why I say it kind of sucks that like I have to step away to do lights, but I'm, I'm still going to be streaming. Just I'll be tired and probably cold and hopefully not too grumpy <laughs> streaming at night. I just won't be able to stream during the day. So, uh, I was hoping on starting lights, uh, to yesterday slash today but it has been raining all day today so i will start on thursday bringing them home tomorrow from where i saw them and i'm a filmmaker there you go i like that title i like it picasso so yeah but the lights are a lot of fun like i said a lot of people in my town look forward to them and i've won competitions in our local town with my lights and Apparently one of our other, one of the big, the biggest display in our town. Allegedly he sold all his Christmas lights and he's not doing it anymore. So he probably had over a hundred thousand lights. Uh, I'm at about 20,000. I'd like to get to about 25,000 cause you know, that's what Clark had from Christmas vacation. And if I get to the around 20, I'll, I'll probably stop there. But I also don't know that I'll stop there. <laughs> so I might make the push to go to 25 this year, but I'm kind of running out of places to put lights. Taking over to get one. the RV. Let's go. Yeah. Neighbors would love that. Falcon heavy rollout. What? Is there a Falcon heavy rolling out? Uh, 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 Trent. I looked up at Starbase. That wouldn't be on Starbase. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that's Space Coast. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong place. Polar Bear, welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, my bad. Yeah, my bad. I got the notification or a minute ago. That's pretty cool. I, we haven't seen a Falcon Heavy in forever. This one's a classified one. Space flight now. Oh, really? For the uh, Space Force. Wow. Uh, where am I from? I live uh, just outside of St. Louis, uh, Missouri, is where I'm from. And if you ask some people, uh, I live under the arch in downtown St. Louis. That's not actually true. But we're going to just go with that and say I live under the giant Wi-Fi antenna known as the St. Louis Arch. It's not actually a Wi-Fi antenna either, but, you know, we're going to go with that too. I live in a suburb of St. Louis about 35, 40 minutes away. Yeah. 650. Joe, that's a lot. That's a fair bit, sir. Yeah. 
Uh, I live in a pineapple funny. under the sea. Thanks, Trent, for the hydrate. I bet you're out of bed, sir. You're out of, uh, what's it called? Channel points now, right? 12. 12? <laughs> it's probably got gig fiber. Well, probably. It's a national park, after all. So, yeah, it has, has the big bucks. Probably has the corn, too. Got the juice, you know. It's corn. They're going to do a daddy stream for this. Are they really? Somebody, whoever says, or that's signed into the NSF account says commentary soon. No. I opened it up, but I just see the side of a building. Yeah, do you see a black and white rocket? Sliding out. Is that what that is? I don't can't really. Yeah, it's yeah. It's sliding. You see a nightbot uh little comment? I don't have it where I can see their chat, I full screen it. Oh uh, Thomas put did the estimation point talk and it says uh hashtag don't care. <laughs> Does corn <laughs> That's a good question there, Dan. Does corn actually have the juice? Without hesitation, yes. Okay. Trent and Zach cheered Dex 100. Trent makes 100 without hesitation, yes. Depends on the sage. What? Depends on the sage. That's true, yeah. <laughs> That's why uh, Justin and Mama Lama's uh, daughter was walking around with that ear of corn, and of course, Zach and I are both singing, it's, she's got, it's corn, you know, and we're singing the song and stuff, and I was like, yeah, but that corn doesn't have the juice. It's already dried out. It was funny. How many people played with us? Seems like 27. Uh, there's two of us in the server currently. It is me and uh, Mr. Squirrely Dan over there in the other combine. Uh, the rest of the things driving around are auto drive. It's a mod uh, that allows us to set up stuff to, to do stuff basically for us automatically. And uh, right now we have five uh, tractors and tippers that are running around, keeping us empty uh, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, no gambling here, no. I always felt like gambling kind of clutters up chat. It's it's just it's just kind of too much. Uh, so no, we don't we don't have gambling here. That is something I don't have. The other 1050 needs a minion. Maybe that's like what we do with all of them. 1050s on all of them. Or minion weights on all of them. <laughs> there are minions. Get it? <laughs> wow, sad gift. Wow. Those two just have a little collision. Oh, they no, sure they're did. Good. They're good though. They figured they it sure out. Sure did. <laughs> See, that's what's awesome about auto drive now. They actually figured that out, and they're good to go. Your guy just came in like a wrecking ball, and you know my my minion was like, "You will stop." <laughs> yeah, and you're getting roasted. Uh, we gamble every time Dan joins the server. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happened one time. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so. Nice. Well, I don't know. No, not today. Today wasn't a thing. I don't know what happened there. I guess we can let it slide. Auto drive is for PC only, unfortunately, yes. Uh, I think console would vomit if you uh, tried to run auto drive on a, on a console. Auto drive, but force play. It's DPS. It's really cool because, like, our homestead is way over <laughs> here. And I know it does, this doesn't look that far. This is a 4X map. So keep in mind, this is basically four regular size maps all put together here. <laughs> 